Hello, this is Matthew with Gear Sounds, and we've got Danny here with Dan Electro, and we've got some reissues of some very old and now very expensive pedals, and a new guitar called the 59 Divine. What can you tell us about, some people are calling these new old stock pedals, what can you tell us about them? Yeah, okay, so the, the Fuzz, the 3699 Fuzz is a reissue of the Fox Tone Machine, which we can show right here. And this is Steve Rittinger, who who made the Fox Tone Machine. Which is a, that fuzzy monster right there. Right. <laughs> now, Steve owns Dan Electro. He is Dan Electro. Yeah. And he was fuzz. This was his pedal. So he's recreating it in this in this box, in the smaller box. But it's exactly, he. you know, he designed it. He knows what it is. It's exactly the Fox pedal. Same exact circuit and everything, yeah. same components. Same everything. They source the old parts, NOS parts, and uh, it's uh, it has a few little little upgrade bells and whistles, but the circuit's exactly what he designed in the 70s. And the new upgrades are? It's uh, actually it's a mid it's a mid boost, which is actually isn't actually a boost because on the original they had a they had a mid cut, they had a scoot. So this is just giving you back this the mid that it took out. Right, it's giving you back the mids that it took away. Right, right. Got it. So okay. You can hear it. You'll hear it in a second. So you know, but everything else. Plus, it has. Plus, it has the octave. Is foot switchable on and off. Very nice. And if and and this, it's independent of the on off for the pedal. So you can. You can use the octave without the the fuzz. No, you can't use the octave without the fuzz. But you can you can preload it if you want to use the octave. It'll stay on. Got it. So okay, can, so if you, you always can, want the octave on, you can have it on. You can, or or however you want to set it up, you can preset right. it up for your settings for the song. Very so, cool. You know, so. And then what about this guy right here? Okay, this is this is a clone of the Ibanez Mostortion pedal, which has become real sought after. Uh, a lot of the session guys in Nashville and LA, they have had it on their board forever, and uh, they're really they're becoming really sought after expensive pedals on the vintage market. So this is this is a clone of that of the Ibanez exact clone of the Ibanez Mostortion. Very cool. And then what can you tell us about the, this is what I'm most interested in. Okay, actually. well the back talk is a reverse delay, which is the reissue of the actual Dano pedal from the 90s that they put out. So that also, you know, just like all these others, is a sought after pedal. Um, and this is the, this is it. He made this pedal. These, what's cool is that these are his pedals. They're not recreating something, except for the Ibanez. But <clears throat> they're exact pedals that he designed and made. Yeah, then. same circuit, same parts, and all everything yes. like that. And one of yep. the things Andy said is this is what he considered to be the only musical reverse delay. And I'd have to agree because a lot of these new pedals out there, they're doing these crazy wacky things, and I just right. don't see how you could use them in music. Right. But this is something that is wacky, but is also musical. Musical, violin-ish like tone. It, it you know it, It'll do a lot of things, but it's, uh, it's more musical and you know, you can use it, like you said, you know, it's a useful tool in a lot of songs. You know? All right, well, let's go ahead and get some okay. sounds, and okay. if you don't mind me uh, playing with these the knobs over here. Okay, okay, let's let's start with the fuzz. Okay. All right. So I'll give you a, I'll give you a, a tone without the without the pedal on, just so you can see. Yeah, that. nice clean. You know, basement fat. Just like any fuzz, it's very dynamic. It, it it acts differently with the input you're putting it into it. So you back off on the on the when you back off on the uh, volume on your guitar. Cleans up nice, like a fuzz face. It cleans up nice, and and the octave becomes more pronounced. Interesting. Let's hear that. <laughs> Favorite 
funnest songs ever. <laughs> that sustain that is very, incredible. Awesome. Yeah, That's yeah, amazing. Yeah. yeah Let's yeah. go ahead and jump on over to this one real quick. Okay. Okay. Now this is, like I said, this is the Ibanez Mustortion, which it really shines at at the uh, at like a big crunchy rock, rock punchy power chord stuff. Crunchy, All right. Crunchy, crunchy. Yeah. Take a look at the uh, the back talk okay. now. Okay, now back talk. Um, it gets wacky, but we found a, a really cool thing with it too. You, kind of a psycho Billy, uh, rockabilly sound. Um, turn it on. There we go. So it's a reverse delay slap back. It's kind of fun. It's like. Let's hear the wacky sounds that yeah, uh, yeah. Andy was getting out of it. And then another cool thing is you go all the way wet the the um, the mix. Mm -hmm. you go all the way all the way wet with the mix. You're not getting any of the of the dry signal. Note. Yeah. So it's just the delays, mm -hmm. and then you get really crazy with it. That was one of my favorite demos all of the show, <laughs> man. That was great. All right, man. Yeah, well, thank you so fun. much for an amazing oh, demo. Thank you, man. Thank I wish you. it could be longer. Yeah, I know no, you guys good, are closing man. up here. It's good. But uh, how much are these, and when are they releasing? Uh, what one ninety nine is the retail. Uh, you know, uh, they'll be in stores uh, probably in about a month, five right. or something like that. Um, Sweetwater has them. They're they're already selling them. They're already pre selling them and stuff. So great. I haven't smiled that much all show. There I'm you excited. Go. For, the, for being my last video, it was a good grand finale. But Great, thanks again. Man. Awesome. Enjoy packing up. All right. <laughs>